NPR Oakland County and from Michigan. And for those of you that have ever talked to somebody from Michigan and asked them where they live, they always pull out their own personal map. So I'm going to do that for you today. We live right here. I hope that helps. Oakland County has always been a great place to live, work, and play, and we've been a provider of shared services to our local municipalities for over 50 years. And we practice a mantra, build it once, pay for it once, and everyone benefits. The recent recession, though, forced us to reimagine our economy and the role of government and deepen our commitment to shared services. Through WebGIS, we've grown our distributed GIS model by combining the value of our many collaborative systems of record to a powerful system of systems, which allows us, too, to branch out to all our municipalities, businesses, and citizens. Let's take a look at our Access Oakland open data portal so we can show you some examples of how we've reimagined our economy. Here are a few maps that market our economic programs as well as attract new businesses to our county. Through emerging sectors, our boss, L. Brooks Patterson, sent us around the globe to recruit the new types of businesses that cultivate the new economic sectors that grow alongside the automotive industry. To date, we have more than 400 new businesses located in Oakland County with an economic investment of $3.9 billion. We discovered we have a thriving healthcare cluster. So we created the, created the Medical Main Street program to market our county as a destination for just about any kind of medical service you would need in a modern community. As the recession waned, I could clearly see the tremendous value we were gaining from these powerful tools, but the impact was limited to the knowledgeable few. I began to wonder, what impact could we make if we reimagined our power users as the trunk of a large growing tree and all of our new users growing branch by branch. So I challenged my team to reimagine our GIS program, deepening its roots and sharing its impact across every municipality, business, and citizen in our county. Mike and Tammy are here with me today to share a small portion of what we've accomplished. Thanks, Phil. When Phil handed us this challenge, we knew we had to grow a new generation of GIS users. What was our approach? Grow our tree by finding and inspiring just one user who would then add hundreds more. Today, we're going to introduce you to just some of the people who make up the branches of our tree, from social media, tax, assessing, local municipal government, public works, and public health. Let's meet Caitlin from our social media team. She promotes activities through various social media channels, such as where to find cider mills in the county. For those of you who don't know, each fall, families flock to cider mills for fresh apple cider and warm donuts. We wanted to show Caitlin that maps are another powerful channel to engage the public, and we wanted to wow her right from the start. So before our first meeting, we grabbed her cider mills blog post, picked a configurable template, and mapped it. And just like that, our Map of the Month program was born to promote many unique activities in the county, such as our sky gazing map, to show where to find the darkest skies in the county. Through Caitlin, we learned how to engage the public through the combined power of social media and beautiful maps. Next, let's meet Laura, Chief of Tax Administration. When citizens don't pay their taxes, a notice is staked on their property. We helped Laura ensure, we created a suite of apps actually to help Laura ensure that contractors stake properties appropriately and as cost effectively as possible. Office staff use Dashboard to monitor daily progress and communicate changes in status to their contractor so that if a resident pays their taxes, the contractor will know via collector not to stake the property, saving the property owner unnecessary distress. What used to take months and multiple people now takes one person one week. We found that some branches grow through our cultivation, whereas others sprout almost entirely on their own. Meet Brenda from our Equalization Division. 
They provide property assessing services for more than half of the municipalities in the county. Brenda's team was frequently distracted from their regular work with questions from colleagues about property details. So Brenda created this useful app with the data they needed, like parcel acreage, wetlands, and historical imagery dating all the way back to 1940. Brenda reimagined how information is distributed to her colleagues, creating over 60 new users. When I saw what Brenda had done in her own department, I recognized the opportunity that we need to expand our shared services program by distributing maps like hers to not only our county departments, but to every municipality. Remember, build it once, pay for it once, so everyone can benefit. So here's what we did. We added Brenda's application to our suite of standard product offerings, a collection of apps we're sharing across the county that includes helpful tools like these. The challenge now is how to quickly and efficiently distribute these apps to our municipalities. Let's meet Joe, Assistant City Manager for the City of Ferndale. We knew Joe's team could use Brenda's application and our other standard apps, but we wanted the Assessor app to look more like a custom Ferndale application. So to help Joe, we created this script using the ArcGIS API for Python inside a Jupyter Notebook to quickly distribute a collection of apps to a new Ferndale ArcGIS Online group. The script is populating Ferndale's group by looping through our standard apps, localizing, and in the case of the Assessor app, adding Ferndale's unique branding. Ferndale's group is populated with a collection of apps users can begin using immediately. And Brenda's app has become Joe's app, zoomed into Ferndale and with their own logo. So hold on, and I, I, I think that's worth repeating. We took a collection of county apps, we automated the distribution to any municipality, and then they made it their own. That's awesome work. Next, let's meet Tim from our Water Resources Commissioner's Office. To manage their assets, they use CityWorks, which we provide as a service to several municipalities and county departments. All this data is stored in a single database that is then shared across all the users. This distributed asset management system creates a wealth of information. For example, over the last five years, we've created over a half million work orders, detailing maintenance on over one million infrastructure assets, visualizing and getting a clear understanding of where and exactly how much we're spending across the county can be quite difficult. Using geoanalytics, we can aggregate this large data set and make better sense of all this work order data. The results are these hex bins, which are symbolized using total work order cost. This helps us get a comprehensive view of where we're spending our infrastructure dollars. We can also overlay infrastructure age, which is represented here by the white circles. Because Tim is often charged with convincing municipalities to invest in infrastructure, this analysis helps prioritize and allocate scarce resources. As a county, it's part of our culture to be prepared and proactive. Let's meet Tricia from Public Health, who introduced us to a new problem and a countywide partnership working to curb the opioid epidemic, where thousands of people are impacted by prescription drug and heroin addiction. I'd like to take you on a tour of our open data page, built using the new configurable opioid solutions. Maps like this build public awareness by demonstrating the staggering number of prescriptions filled in each community. And prevention resources, such as our Sheriff's Operation Medicine Cabinet, show where to dispose of unused medications. And finally, we've also provided treatment and recovery resources to connect citizens to the help they need. Between these public apps and our internal dashboard, we can effectively inform, monitor, and respond to this growing epidemic. These solutions are changing the face of public health in Oakland County. Today, we've shown you six exciting new branches of GIS growth in Oakland County, and each of them came from our approach of finding and inspiring just one user who will then inspire many more.
we are engaged in the most important work of our careers. Two years after challenging my team, we have hundreds more users in a distributed GIS model across our county departments and municipalities. We are part of a team whose mission is to create a better community and save the lives of our citizens. I encourage you all to find and inspire those people who will grow your tree and look for the opportunities to distribute your GIS so you can build it once, pay for it once, and allow everyone to benefit. Thank you very much. Powerful. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you all. That's great. Well, Oakland is a perfect example, isn't it, of applying the complete platform. But it also is interesting to me because it represents where we're going with this distributed notion. Not just one central database, but feathering it out, distributed computing, distributed collaboration, and also this mission that you've stated so well, Phil, of, of serving, being in service. Service means not just web services. It's this unique combination of being in service that, I mean, you inspire me. Thank you, Phil. Thank, thank, thank you also, Tammy and Mike. I appreciate it.